skincare, 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 self-care, self-care, might be going back to the store. Yeah. I might have to sleep on that one, come back 25% versus 20% on the Sephora. Hey loves, welcome to my channel and welcome to another episode of the mixed edition. Guys, as you already can tell from the title, we are doing our haul from this year's Sephora Savings event. It happens twice a year, one in the spring and one kind of like in the late fall, kind of early winter. Um, this savings event ran through April 5th through April 15th. I'm filming this video on the 13th, so I really want you guys to kind of see all the things that I've already bought and give you guys some of my top recommendations so you can get to Sephora for the last two days of shopping. Hopefully you guys are already familiar with Sephora's tiered savings category. You can have your beauty insiders, they get 10% off. Your VIB members, they get 15% off. And Rouge members get 20% off. Now guys, this video isn't sponsored, but I know one day I'm going to be working with Sephora. But I just wanted to hit you guys to those different tiers. I am a Rouge member. And pretty much what that means is I spend too much money at Sephora. That's really what that, all that means, okay? <laughs> but it does come with the benefit of being able to shop their sales earlier than everyone else and obviously getting a larger discount. We're going to get into all the stuff that I picked up and some of my top recommendations so that if you guys are late shoppers like I am or plan to shop the sale until it close, then you'll have some of the recommendations to consider. Guys, I got two bags and a box. I tried to be good this year, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how we did, okay? Let's go ahead and open up the box first. I think this has the most items in it, and I'm excited to open the box, okay? I was waiting to film this video so I can open the box. Now we can open the box. Child, look at all this stuff. Mm-mm. First up, I picked up two products from Dermalogica. One I had been already using, so I already knew that I was going to pick it up again. And the other one I wanted to try out just to see if it was just as good as the one that I've been using. These are the Daily Exfoliants. And one is in the Micro Exfoliant. I think this is a bestseller. And the other one is the Milk exfoliant now guys i have been using this one since the last vip event and this small little bottle of powder it lasts me for six months so i'm like yeah we're gonna keep going with the mini sizes and then we'll re-up the next six months during the next savings event i wanted to try the milk one because i think this is a little bit more gentle on the face so yeah i'll save this one like on days after i've done a full face of makeup like today i can go ahead and use this um tonight or tomorrow and then probably use the milk one for just daily use and i'm really excited to have both of these so i can try out kind of see what's the difference so i'll let you guys know how these go Another brand that I wanted to try from Sephora this savings event is the Inky List. Now they pop up on all like the recommendation list on Sephora's website and they're really feasible. So I wanted to give them a try and I picked up some retinol serum because guys, y'all gonna notice a theme here in this haul. Like I'm trying to get that glass skin look. I'm trying to get the skin together. We gotta really dig into this skincare, okay? And that's what we're gonna be doing. So I picked up the retinol serum. Let me see. 
It's supposed to reduce the appearance of wrinkles without irritation. Now, retinol can be really, really strong in products sometimes, and it can irritate the skin. So that's what really drew me to kind of get this one is that it says without irritation. So hopefully this does me right. Okay, guys, next one. I'm really excited about this one. I watched Kiara. I don't know her whole channel name. I'm going to have to leave it, but okay she got some glass skin going on and she raves about um a saffron serum the one that she uses is very very pricey on amazon so i looked at something similar at sephora so i found this brightening saffron serum and this is by renovant I've never used anything from this brand, but when I saw a saffron serum and it was of a good price and plus I get my discount, please <laughs> say less. So here's what it looks like. It is tiny, guys. It is tiny, tiny and pricey. Now, I'm hoping that this is going to give that radiance. It's going to remove any dark spots that I may or may not have on my face and yes we're going for glass skin we are going for radiance we're going for glow so we're going to see what this do next one guys everybody knows about this this has been all over social media okay you have not missed this product and i'm excited to try it this is topicals these are their eye masks it's supposed to brighten and clear the under eye okay so we're gonna see what's going on because lately i've been waking up with the bags the droopiness we got to get it together okay these are pricey though for six for six of them it's like $22. I mean, yeah, I'm glad the sale is going on so I can maneuver that price a little bit because six for $22, I don't know. So these better, <laughs> these better be worth the hype. Yeah, I picked up so much skin products, okay? So hopefully next video or next couple of videos, glass skin, okay? I also picked up another product from the Inky List. This is the Oat Cleansing Balm. So yes, after I take off this makeup, I will be testing this out immediately. This is supposed to be good for unclogging your pores, just a nice clean vibe and aesthetic. And again, one of their more affordable skincare brands and lines that they carry at Sephora. So definitely wanted to give them a try. Also from the Inky List, and I think this is the last product that I picked up from this brand. This is the Bioactive Ceramide Repairing and Plumping Moisture, okay? So after we done did full face of makeup, we go ahead and get this cleansing together, and then we start repairing. We put that moisture back in our skin. And I'm just going to hit them with a one, two, three. I'm going to cleanse. I'm going to use the retinol serum, and then I'm going to lock it in with the moisturizer. So, so excited to use this tonight. Moving on to some Sephora brand items. Of course, if you shop Sephora brand items, you get 30% off no matter the tier. And again, this video is not sponsored, but we're going to be, we working towards the future, okay? So Sephora, look out, okay? Um, the first thing we picked up from the Sephora brand is this AHH BHA uh, soothing cleanser. So it's supposed to exfoliate, do some glowing. Again, we want for glass skin. So having good cleansers is going to be key because it unclog unclogs your pores and it literally just starts you off with a fresh palette to get all of your other kind of products that you want to uh, seep into your skin so that it can do its magic definitely got to have a good cleanser first so pick this up from sephora brand the next thing that i picked up was this super glow cleansing powder so yes we we got to be clean we got to start all fresh and clean before we can get into the other stuff and with summer coming up and you know it heating up you need to make sure all that sweat, whatever else you're putting on, your SPF, everything else, you need to make sure that it's coming off. 
So yes, we got a lot of skincare products this time around and we are excited to put these in rotation. Next thing I got is really popular. I haven't tried anything from this brand yet. This is Youth to the People. This is the Super Food Cleanser. And all I hear is great things, okay? Superfoods, 100% vegan, made in the U.S. Okay, how can we go wrong? The only place we're going wrong at is the price. Because, um, okay, this might, this might last me a little bit. This might last me a little while. Okay, because I thought this was going to be a super tiny bottle. Because I didn't hop out there and get the full size. Because I need to test this out first. I need to see if it's going to work well on my skin. But it has all the great things. Kale, green tea, spinach vitamins. I mean, wow. Like, putting things on your body like this should definitely make a difference. So, hopefully, this will be a new staple of mine. We're going to see, though. Okay, so let me give y'all some pro tips when you are shopping in-store for the savings event. In store, you can use the savings event code. They automatically scan it at the register. If they don't, please make sure they do. Do not miss out on your savings, okay? But you can always get a price adjustment if you forgot about it. But yes, they automatically scan the discount code, but you can use any rewards that you have racked up from shopping at Sephora. So if you have your $10 off coupons or $10 off um if you have your $10 off savings, you can use that in conjunction with the 10, 15, or 20% that you're going to save. So I did that today in store and I was so happy because online, they don't let you do that. You can only use the one promo code, which is the savings event code. It's not going to allow you to use your $10 off or whatever points you've accumulated to get a dollar amount off. So that's my pro tip when shopping in store. So probably your last couple of two days of the savings event, you probably won't go in store so you can get that extra savings. Another pro tip that I have when shopping the sale period. If you are new to a brand or if you know that you are interested in multiple products from one brand, try to see if they got a gift set. Try to see if they get a gift set because obviously that's going to allow you to try multiple products from the same brand and it's probably going to be at a lesser cost that if you were to buy it individually, um, you get to try an array of products in just one one gift set. And that's what I did with this brand right here. This is the brand Fresh. And I picked up a gift set. It includes a cleanser, a toner, a hydration serum, and a moisturizer. Y'all see the thing? Y'all see the thing? Okay, we going from start to finish. We going to the cleanser all the way to the serum, to the moisturizer. I have been wanting to try this brand. I think the first thing that I tried from this brand was like their rose, um, rose mist oil that you could just spray on your face. It instantly reduces your pores. I don't know why I didn't pick that up, but I'm probably going to have to do that in these last couple of days for that sale. I'm probably going to have to do that. But yes, guys, look at these. And you be getting full-size products in these gift sets. So it's a good way to save. It's a good way to try multiple products from a brand that you're interested in. So that's another pro tip. Y'all know I couldn't mention or leave this haul without something from Tatcha, okay? Tatcha is one of those top tier skin brands at Sephora. They're pretty pricey. So if you wanna kinda save a little bit I would suggest you look at what gift sets they have. They have many gift sets and they have gift sets that have a couple of products in there that you can try. So this one comes with the deep cleanse, the water cream, the cleansing oil, the dewy skin cream, the rice wash, and uh, the essence serum. So there are a few products in this gift set that I haven't tried before and I'm excited to try. Now I tried the rice water and the dewy skin cream. The dewy skin cream is actually 
a staple. It's a staple. So y'all gonna hear about that later on in this video and my top recommendations. But I wanted to try some other Tatcha products without having to pop out and buy the full size of each of these products to only find out that mm, it didn't work for me or mm, I love it. So I'm excited to get into this gift set. Skincare, 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 self-care, self-care. We picked up these little masks. These are from the Sephora collection. You can get 30% off of these. Again, I picked up some eye masks. This is the watermelon uh, version. So if I ain't trying to use those pricey topical brightening eye masks, then you can go ahead and get you them three $6 ones from the Sephora collection and just see what they gonna do couple of other things for the eyes guys i was looking at ai the great um sephora kind of haul and another person on youtube i can't remember her name but i do love her channel um they were talking about uh, the eyelashes that um sephora sells now i don't know if this one oh they're both sephora brand they were talking about the Sephora brand eyelashes and I don't know where I've been and why I didn't skip over top of them. Probably because guys, I really don't know how to do my makeup. Okay, I be faking it till I make it. <laughs> for real, for real. So I really don't know how to do like the lash band ones, but today I did them and they came out okay. They ain't fall off yet during filming. So, anyways, so I picked up two different versions from the Sephora collection. This one is the Essential uh, False Lashes. This is in Irresistible. Now, this definitely look like me. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. I don't need nothing in a little natural looking. I need it to be, if I'm going to pop out, let me pop out. This is the Weightless brand, and this is the Everyday Flare. Um, I, the great, was talking about how weightless the band is. So, yeah, I'm going to be needing that. But this don't look like no Everyday Flare lash to me. But, again, I don't wear makeup every day, so I don't know. But these look beautiful, guys. I can't wait to, like, put these on if I'm going out on date night or something like that. I'm excited to kind of wear those. But these will probably be like ones that I will put on to like film a video or something like that. Yes, excited to try these Sephora brand eyelashes. I think they were pretty okay on price. But again, with the 30% off, had to pick them up. So along with the eyelashes, I had to pick up some eyelash glue. Um... So I picked up both of the Sephora brand ones. Now we have the black brush tip eyelash adhesive and then we have the clear one. So I don't trust myself with black. <laughs> Little cat eye be a dog eye in two seconds. <laughs> like, no. Um, so this one is probably going, going, I was about to say going black, but going back because again guys i don't really know how to do makeup so i don't trust myself enough with this maybe i should keep it and then like practice i don't know but this clear version definitely gonna keep this and it's small and it's compact i can throw that in my purse just in case these lashes get into acting funny we can go ahead and put them back on okay last couple of things until we get into the fun part okay i wanted to get and try some makeup for this Sephora event sale. As you guys can see, there's a theme. I'm trying to get better at my makeup and better at my skincare overall general health. Okay, so I have been using the same type of makeup for 10, <laughs> 10 maybe plus or minus that years. Like, seriously guys, like I don't, I'm not really into makeup like that so the makeup that i have is just fine i make it do what it do and that's what it's just been doing but i wanted to try and like step it up this year i want to really get into some different products and kind of get that glass skin that uh that flawless application 
So I'm going to try some new products. Um, the one product that I've been hearing about in multiple recommendation videos is by Danessa Merricks. And this is the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder Face and Eyes. Now, I don't know why they say powder. I don't know why they say powder, guys, because this is not a powder. <laughs> this is not a powder. This is like a creamy formula. I got this in the color 8.5. I'm not sure if this is my right color, guys. I don't know. Um, so it's tricky. We're gonna have to find, we're gonna have to find out. I did try to use a tiny bit of this today to kind of try to test it out. You guys won't be able to tell because I did put this over top of what I already used to do my makeup. I typically use Laura Mercier uh, Tenant Moisturizer. Not typically, but every time I do my makeup, that is what I use. I use a Tenant Moisturizer. I've never bought a foundation. Um, I just didn't feel like I needed. I'm not a full glam kind of girl, so I just went with a, a Tenant Moisturizer, and that's just been my thing. Um, but I wanted to kind of expand a little bit, and I've just been seeing this go around on the internet. So I decided to give it a try. I'm not sure if this is my right color or not. It looks lighter on camera, but in person, it looks darker. So it's kind of kind of playing a little bit of tricks right now. But I did, as you can see, I tried to test it out a little bit. I put it over top of my Laura Mercier. So I don't know if that was a true kind of test. So next time, I'm just going to use this. But from what I heard, this does have blurring effects and it's buildable. And I think that's what really drew me to this product is that, okay, it's not a foundation. It is still in that vibe of moisturizer, tinted moisturizer type of thing, but it's buildable. Um, so you can do it a light or you can keep building on to it until you get the coverage that you desire. And it also comes with a cute little spatula on top. So you can scoop out the product. Now, I don't know how it works when you are applying it. But, I mean, hey, whatever they're going to give us <laughs> onto their products, I'm with it. Okay? So, I'm excited to continue to play with this and test this out. And see if this is going to be a staple or not. We don't know. Last thing that I kind of got influenced to grab before the sale was over, this is also in the Sephora collection. This is their Micro Smooth Baking Powder. Now, this I do love. I love it already. I used it today. Now, this is just something like where you can just finish your face off with. And I immediately kind of just saw like better blurring of all the products that I use during my application. This kind of just like brought everything together. And again, guys, this is the multitasking baked face powder. And I got it in Sienna. That is the number 80. Um, I probably could have went a little bit lighter on this. It's so hard to try to guesstimate what the color is based on the online. So sometimes you just need to go into to the store. But going into the store, honey, during the sale, it just be too chaotic for me. It just be too chaotic for me. I'd be wanting to just get my stuff and go because it'd be too much. But I love this already, guys. So whether or not this is my color or not, I'm keeping this and I'm gonna be using this. Guys, I know y'all wondering. I know y'all like, wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't hear a certain brand. Let me get into that. Usually, guys, I cannot go to Sephora without picking up something from Fenty. Okay, Fenty Skin is that girl. Is that girl, okay? But Fenty got real cute this year. They got real slick this year. They did their friends and family 30% and 25% off like a week or two before the Sephora savings event. So 30, 25% versus 20% on the Sephora. Yeah, I just had to go ahead and get them products from Fenty 
ordinarily I would have picked them up from Sephora so this is kind of not a part of the haul but these are still recommendations and things that you can pick up some from Sephora so I do want to share with you a quick look at what I got from the 25% off from Fenty because this is stuff that I would have ordinarily picked up in Sephora so first thing I got is the fat water and this is the milky one guys I use this every day this is a staple in my skincare routine it adds back in the moisture after you've cleansed your face it adds back in the moisture okay it helps you get that restarted so I can't go without this had to grab another bottle because I'm almost out of the one that I have currently next thing guys is the Fenty mascara thick okay I oh it's hella thick okay I can't this right here baby I didn't think that I would find another mascara better than the one from Too Faced better than sex yeah I didn't think it was possible but this coming in at almost half the price of that one baby Rihanna Fenty skin they did their thing okay they did their big one with this thick mascara it is oh my god if I had these lashes off I wear this I wear this in pretty much all of my videos if I had my eyelashes off for a person that really doesn't have a ton of eyelashes to work with this is giving me a little something this is giving me good enough to kind of get on camera and film okay this is giving me good enough that i can walk out the house comfortably without applying false lashes this is amazing highly recommend i picked up the lip oils the duo this is the melon and the cherry these lip oils you cannot beat them they are conditioning they give you that high sheen gloss they smell good the applicator is nice is smooth so you know and I feel like the price is pretty fair so I had to pick these up this is ordinarily something I would have picked up during the VIB Sephora savings event but Fenty got someone first they got someone first so while I was there I wanted to try a new product from Fenty and this product this is a brightening mask it has 5% um, AHA and it's just a mask that you could put on after you've cleansed your face and leave it on for five ten minutes and it's supposed to have this brightening glowing effect I did already use this it was nice it was nice I mean I have to keep continuing to use it but I love the smell of it it is in cherry dove so of course it's the cherry that's sourced from Barbados I love that she includes that so they can get their coin too okay give back to your community girl okay love her we love Riri and we love Fenty skin over here baby so technically this is not a part of the Sephora VIP sale but this is stuff that I would have already picked up if Fenty did not beat them to the sale of their own products with that 25-30% now back to Sephora and back to the fun part okay next I saved all the fragrances for last okay because that's what we here for we here for that we here for the skin but we here for that fragrance honey that's what we here for so let's jump into it in my last Sephora haul and I'm gonna leave it up here if you guys want to see it um I told you guys about the way Melrose Place perfume and how in love I was with this scent how the initial spray gives you that burst of like just floral sharp lychee and bergamot i mean it is just amazing like i love sharp floral scents i know that's not everybody's vibe this won't be a safe blind buy for everybody but for those of us that are into florals and if you if you don't mind like a sharp floral okay 
then you need to give this a try. Okay? Wait. Look. Magnetic top. Y'all already know they already get 10 points for that from me. Okay? But I was complaining in my last haul about this fragrance that the lasting power was not there. Like, when you spray it out, you get everything you want. And then it dries down in like two minutes. And where are we at? Where, where do we go? But since I've had this for over six months and I've been playing with it, I think it just needed time to maturate. Time to like sit in its juices, maturate. Because now when I spray it, like my travel size that I bought, it's performing. It's performing, okay? So, you know I had to get the full size. So, we didn't pick this up and we already, she's right on time for spring and summer. Period. Next up is one that I have always smelled at Sephora, but I never just kind of went on ahead and grabbed it. This is Burning Cherry by Kayali. Now, this has notes of burning cherry, raspberry, praline, palo santo, guaki wood, and patchouli. It smells like burning cherry. I mean, it smells good, guys. The reason why I wanted to add this into my collection is because I'm doing a cherry collection of fragrances. And I just really want to see kind of like who has mastered the cherry note. Like who's leading the girls for the cherry fragrances it smells good it smells definitely more reminiscent to the not another cherry by finery than it does to tom ford's lost cherry speaking of tom ford lost cherry i did pick it up in the travel size i used to have this back in the day but I was not impressed. I was not impressed. Okay, so I gave it away. I gave it away. Guys, this is probably like three, four years ago. I had this, picked it up, smelled it once. And it, and for me, it's like if I smell it once and, it's, and it just doesn't do it for me, I tend to, I tend to just give it away. But I need to stop doing that. Because I didn't gave some stuff away and then I go back around to the person that I gave it away and I'll be like, wait a minute, what you got on? <laughs> They'll be like, oh, that's the fragrance you gave me. I'm like, wait a minute. It didn't smell like that on me and at that time. So we're going to revisit this, okay? And plus, again, I'm doing a cherry fragrances video and a lot of brands and houses, they try to dupe this. This is the trendsetter. So it's good to just have this in my collection so I can compare if people have really gotten close to the trending, to the one that's trending. So I'm just going to have it in my collection just probably for comparison purposes. For those that come out with dupes, then I'll have the original that I can compare it to. But if it ends up being a hit, after three, four years of revisiting it, then it ends up being a hit. But for now, we're just going to be doing travel sizes because I don't have time to be paying all this money and they not performing. I told y'all in my last video, I will get the dupe every time. Okay, I'm sorry. If y'all not going to be performing and y'all going to be charging designer and niche prices, nope. So we're going to try it out. We're going to try it out in the, in the travel size. I was not going to leave this perfume on the shelf. You have to have this in your collection, period. This is Vanilla 28 by Kayali. Vanilla Orchid, Tonka Absolute, Brown Sugar, Amber Woods, Musk, all the things. Okay, this is the perfect time to get her because it'll give her time to sit and let that vanilla get deep dark more sugary more powerful for the fall and winter season but honestly you could wear vanilla 28 all year round because this pairs 
in layers with everything, okay? Everything, everything. So, yes, had to pick this up for the sale, guys. And this is in the 50 mil. I should have just went ahead and got the 100 mil. I don't think this comes in the 100 mil, does it? I have to double check, but I know that the rest of my size perfumes, mostly they're in the 50 mil. So I just went ahead and grabbed the 50 mil. This one I'm super excited about because it's been all the rage all over the internet. This is by Fleur and this is Vanilla Skin. Now we better try this out on camera because they didn't, they didn't got me hyped up. They didn't got me hyped up for this. So... Okay, it's spraying out of. All right, what's 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 the notes on this? Top notes is pink pepper. notes are pink pepper pink apple sugar crystals the heart notes are lily jasmine petals cashmere wood base notes are benzoin vanilla sandalwood and agar wood um okay let me let me let me give it another spray smelling alcoholy right now Understand the hype. <sighs> okay, and this is a hair and body mist. Okay, hair and body mist. Okay, guys, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I get the hype. I, I, I don't know if I'm there yet. It's too much alcohol in this. Woo, guys, I don't know. I don't want to say too much, but for me, first impressions, this is not worth the hype. I, this might be going back to the store. Yeah, this might be going back to the store. Okay. I might have to sleep on that one, come back, because uh, right now all I'm getting is alcohol. I'm getting too much of the base notes, those woody notes. And, yeah, and it's reminding me of something else. So I'm just going to reserve my judgment. I'm going to see what's going on in the morning, and we're going to go from there. Next thing I picked up, guys, and I'm so excited about this. And honestly, guys, if you haven't caught my last video, the Bath & Body Works, the top 10 designer expired fragrances that Bath & Body Works released a few weeks ago, you gonna know why I picked this up, okay? They have one called Petal Parade, and that is supposed to be a dupe for Prada Paradox. Now, I explained in my last video why I never picked up Prada Paradox is because I thought it was just gonna be really, really overhyped, like Don and Born Aroma. Everybody has that fragrance. I love it, it smells great, but I just didn't want to smell like everybody else. And I thought Prada Paradox was going to be in that same realm, so I just didn't, I didn't put, I didn't pull the plug, I didn't get it. But after smelling that Bath and Body Works inspired version, Petal Parade, I'm like, I love it too much. I might as well go ahead and get the real thing. And guys, they had this gift set where you could get a 50 mil, okay, and a travel size, 10 mil. We can't be that. We can't be that. We're not going to beat it. Let's unbox it. Mmm. Cute. This is what it looks like. I love me a good two for one, okay? So like I said, check them gift sets out first. Shop the gift sets first. All right. Can I get it out the box? I can get this out the box. 
and I forgot to mention guys that this is the intense version I didn't pick up the regular version because look I'm just in my era where I need all my fragrances to be beast mode I don't have time for maturation I don't have time for lackluster we spending too much money out here we going into a recession I need everything I grabbed to be beast mode so I did pick up this in the intense version so let's try it out I'm excited for this one okay I already sprayed burning sherry right there so let me spray it on my wrist <sighs> ah lord oh my god that smells good <laughs> petal parade does smell just like Prada paradox okay this is the intense version mmm oh lord have mercy yes this is date night all the way this date night this date night mm, it's so like fruity and captivating and ooh, yeah this is sexy guys so go ahead just get you the intense version if you like the profile of this fragrance go ahead just pick it up in the intense version and if they have the gift set still available pick it up so you can get that two for one get the two for one this next one guys i'm struggling a little bit with this i sprayed it on me in the store i walked around for a little bit picking up stuff shopping trying stuff <sighs> i'm struggling i might have to take this back y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments it's like i like it but then it's throwing me off at the same time next one i'm going to talk about is miss dior this is the 2024 version and this is the collaboration with mfk and top perfumer for dior they did the collaboration on miss dior for 2024 guys i think some of the top notes are like mandarin strawberry it's supposed to be like a very fruity fresh type of uh gourmandy fragrance it does have rose in it and i want to talk about the rose for a second the reason why i'm struggling with this is because miss dior the line miss dior it's heavy on rose they have a signature rose DNA. And I love rose. I'm a rose connoisseur, okay? But there is a certain type of rose that was formulated back in the day. I'm trying to skip around, okay? Because I don't want to call it old or mature. But that formulation of rose just doesn't really translate to 2024 and that is like their signature dna so i'm getting that modern take on miss dior fresh fruity with the strawberries and the um mandarin orange and then as it starts to dry down as it starts to settle we go back into the similar DNA across the Miss Dior line. So I'm struggling, guys, because I really like the opening. It does smell good. But am I going to be completely satisfied with wearing this fragrance, knowing that it'll settle into that familiar DNA? Y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all let me know. It's a solid fragrance, but... I feel like you have to be a fan of the Miss Dior DNA to really, really enjoy this. So, y'all let me know. This might be going back. Guys, yes! I was able to get my hands on Jackie Ina, her discovery set. Now, I couldn't get no full bottles because, child, it just flew off the, it just flew off the shelf. And... So did this discovery set. I was lucky to kind of grab this. I love the packaging of the discovery set. Like, this is cute. This is cute. And it has her beautiful face on the back. Yes, girl. Given. Okay. Forever mood. 
I love that. I love that. Oh, see, look. It opened up in the front. Look, fancy. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. If you open it, it tells you all the scents. It has like pictures of the full size bottles there. From the back, it kind of gets into a little description of all of the scents. So this is solid packaging. Now, I heard some people complaining about the full size bottles, the crystal take on those bottles. I ain't gonna judge, not right now. But let's do a first sniff test. We are going to start with I Am Her. It's supposed to be red velvet, pear, raspberry. Okay, let's try, let's try. I need, I need a test strip. I need some test strips. I didn't bring them. So everything going on the skin right now. Okay. Okay, we love the automizer. I am her. First impression, it's it's good. It's good. The red velvet, you not really it's subtle. Let me just say that. And this is also supposed to have oud in it. I don't even smell the oud. Maybe it's gonna be somewhere in the journey, but what I'm mainly getting at first sniff is the pear and the raspberry. So, that's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Now, the next one, hard to get. This is the one that's like in the yellow. Um, it has lemon, jasmine, vanilla, frosting. I said, what? <laughs> I was really excited for this. Now, guys, I did get a chance to spray this in the store. And my eyes got big. When my eyes get big, that mean yeah, okay? I already like this. Let me, let me get another spray. Let me get some sprays on it. Yes, 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 yes. Bright with that lemon. I don't think, I, I don't think I'm familiar with a scent that has a bright lemon top note. I can't think of one right now. But this lemon with the vanilla frosting and the jasmine, oh, yes, 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 yes. I don't know, I didn't smell the other two yet, but I'm thinking it's gonna be my favorite one. I thought I Am Her was gonna be my favorite one because I'm like red velvet and ooh. If you get more sexier than that, then. <laughs> but this is giving spring summer fresh clean gourmand i'm really impressed with this so hard to get next one is you remind me this is supposed to have apricot white florals let's see what's going on i can't smell it through the thing so let me see okay oh that apricot i love it this is definitely giving your skin but better, fresh out the shower, clean vibes. I love it. I love this. Mmm. I love this. Now, guys, what I've noticed so far is that none of these are going to be like beast mode. They, 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 they just not giving that. They're, they're not giving beast mode. They're not giving beast mode. But just nice little easy to reach fragrances that's how i'll explain it easy to reach something to quickly just grab you ain't got to think about and we all need those in our collection where you're not struggling like mm, should i go with that should i go with that these are going to be really easy to reach for so let's get into the last one this is nda and honestly i'm very curious about this one a lot of people kind of seem to have this one at the top um, it has notes of tobacco flour, spice rum, and vanilla bean, okay? Typically, these are not my notes, so we're going to see, though. We're going to see. It's good. It's good, guys. 
Now, I will have to probably layer this. With, ooh, it's bright and fresh, though. How can it have spiced rum? Okay, maybe that vanilla bean is making it a little bit more lighter. And tobacco flour, okay? Okay, now I see this is why, why this one is kind of at the top of everybody's list. They've been reviewing it so far. Again, this is NDA. Mmm. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Jackie. Go ahead, girl. Do your thing. Do your thing, baby. We love it. We love it here. I would have to say this is pretty solid. I, I would have to say that, okay? I don't know what they saying, but that's what I'm saying. That this is pretty solid, okay? So I probably will get a full bottle of hard to get and... And clearly, clearly is hard to get. So congratulations, Jackie. We love you. We support you. This is solid, guys. And again, ain't none of this sponsored. So this is my genuine and honest review. Now, guys, to close out this video, we are going to get into some of my top recommendations. So if you still have time to shop to support sale and you've been on the fence about these products, let me give you a little information about them and give you my top recommendations. Now, if you made it this far, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and hopefully you choose to subscribe and join the mix. Guys, we are going to start with lip products. Right now, I just have on the Laneige Lip Mask. Baby. Just a little gloss. Just a little gloss. Okay. This sleeping mask is viral for a reason. It conditions your lips and makes your lips softer. And it's hydrating. So I don't just use this at night. As you can see, I'm using it in the video. You could use this at whatever time and it lasts you a very long time now i didn't put a dent in this but it lasts you for a very very long time i think i got this last year and i still have a good amount of this and i got this last year so the laneige lip sleeping mask definitely cannot go wrong with this this is a top recommendation get it other lip products anything in the sephora matte lipstick collections just go ahead and pick it up it will not disappoint you get the color you like it's not going to disappoint you it's hydrating and it's mattifying at the same time so you get that matte put together smooth look and you get the pigmentation if you want to get some more information, like some swatches and some additional thoughts on the Sephora Lip Collection, go check out my other haul. I'll link it. It'll be somewhere. And I talk a little bit more about these products and I actually swatch them so you can see the pigmentation, kind of see what it's given as far as matte and moisturizing. You'll be able to see what's going on. But definitely in my top recommendation, definitely pick up all the lippies from this four collection plus they're 30 percent off can't beat it so guys my camera died so i had to <laughs> replace the battery but i think we were on lips next on lips fenty i already just told you about these lip oils let me go ahead and apply some okay it's my little laneige is drying out because i've been talking for 30 minutes uh-huh and instantly back in the game okay i can't get enough of these lip oils i really cannot so definitely top recommendation get you the duo the gift set don't just get one go ahead and just get you the duo because it's more cost efficient moving on to face products recommendation even though i just got her go get her okay she's one of them this is the multitasking baked face powder guys sephora collection 30 percent off what what are you waiting for what can you lose i recommend her already and it's just because of how she finished this makeup today so go ahead and just grab her again guys this is the dermalogica microfoliant I've been using this for six months and I almost use it pretty much every day. 
Um, I don't know if you're supposed to be using it every day, but I use it every day in the shower and it is gentle enough to use every day. But I know I showed you guys earlier that I got the milk version. So hopefully that's a little bit more softer on the skin. But I really have been enjoying this. So I would say pick this up. And at the price, this is very feasible in the mini. So pick this up from Dermalogica. This is a daily microfoliant. Next thing, Tatcha. Okay. The dewy skin cream. This, this, this is mandatory. This is mandatory. You want that fresh, plump, hydrated, makeup, no makeup, dewy, glowy, just natural glow and radiance. Got to get this, okay? So you saw that I got a little one, a little mini one in the gift set, but the OG, the big doll, I only used this one up halfway so far, so by the time the next savings event rolls around, I'll be due to re-up, okay? But I'll have this mini one here just in case I run out by the time the sale comes back around. But highly recommend 10 out of 10. Another face product, I already showed you guys this earlier. This is Fenty Skin. This is the... Um, Fat Water Hydrating Milky Toner. I use this every single day. Every single day just to kind of add moisture into my face. It feels really great, guys. Can't go wrong with this. Last thing for the face that I recommend, and I'm recommending this based on my history, my, my relationship with this. If you like any of the makeup in my videos. <laughs> okay, if you like how I do my makeup, whatever. This is what I be using. I mentioned this product earlier. This is from Laura Mercier, and this is the Tinted Moisturizer, and this is in the color Walnut. Guys, I've been using this for a decade. For a decade. Never used foundation. This is what I use, this Tinted Moisturizer. This gives me medium coverage, it doesn't give me heavy. It doesn't give me weighed down. It's just perfect for me for the way I like my makeup. I've been using this 10 year history track record with this. So I stand 10 toes down behind this product. Go pick this up. Let's get into skincare. Guys, I love body butters. They are a part of my staple skincare routine. I cannot go without body butters. So I'm going to recommend a few. First one I'm going to recommend is by Way. This is in St. Bart's. Guys, whatever hype that you heard about this product, just go ahead. It is worth the hype. The scent alone, just that coky, just that coconut sitting on the beach, pina colada, this instantly transports you into that mode, okay? And not only does it smell great and moisturizes great, it's not going to leave you with like sheen and shine, but it's going to moisturize you. You will feel hydrated. Your skin will thin your skin will feel softer and the smell definitely sticks on your skin. So this is great for like layering. This is just, it's a staple. As you would already see, I didn't ate this one down, but I do have a backup. I might grab another backup before the sale is over. <laughs> Next body butter, cult classic, the Fenty Skin Butter Drop. Do I, need, do I even need to tell y'all about this? Do I even need to talk about this? And I might need to pick up a backup of this one. This one is for summer time. Any skin being out. Look, let me, let me. If y'all not convinced by now, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to do, okay? Like, the sheen and the shine and the moisture and it's perfect base for just layering before you put on your um, other body care products like your fragrances. 
this is a must have. I, I don't know what you are doing if you do not have this product. I just don't know. I just don't know. Fenty skin, but a drop. Of course, guys, I had to mention this one, the infamous bum bum cream, okay? Do I even need to talk to y'all about this one? <laughs> the yummy pistachio. Oh my God, it just smells delectable. It smells like you want to pick up a spoon and just eat it, okay? But it's for the body, it's for the skin. Let your skin eat it, okay? And get eight down. This is a staple. Of course, it's going to be on the top recommendations. Next thing from Sol de Janeiro, guys, is the Fermenza oil. Now, this is also in the Bum Bum scent profile. Yummy, pistachio. Go ahead and layer these two and be in pistachio heaven. But not only that, right? This is a firming oil. So it's supposed to pull the skin in tighter. A lot of people say that they don't see the firming effects, but I happen to be one of the rare people that does see the firming effects from it. Of course, you have to use this continually to get the continuous results from it. And once you stop using it, uh, then, then you ain't going to be seeing it. But I love this oil, guys. It is hydrating and it has all of those active ingredients to kind of firm and pull the skin on top of the scent. Okay, guys, I mean, what you waiting on? What you waiting on? She is pricey. She not top, top pricey, but she <laughs> she's somewhere in that middle where it's like, mm. <laughs> so you got to get her during the sale. Got to pick her up during the sale. Okay. Continuing with Sol de Janeiro and we're going to move into like other skincare products. I have two deodorants that I want to recommend. One is aluminum free and this is by Sol de Janeiro and this is also in the Rio Dio. This is in the same scent profile as the Bum Bum. Now I don't know why they call this Rio Dio and it smells just like the Bum Bum. It should be Bum Bum. But anyways, it's pistachio, salted caramel, and it's aluminum free. So you get all your layers in, be smelling like a pistachio snack, baby. But again, it's aluminum free, so you can't go wrong. It's really feasible to cost, and plus with the additional 10, 15, 20% off, it's a no-brainer. Now this next one does have aluminum in it, but guys, it smells good. And it gets the job done. This is the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant. I love this deodorant. And this does come in a gift set where you can get the Cashmere Mist fragrance and this deodorant. So look for the gift set first. And if you can find it, get the gift set. If not, do pick this up. Now getting into like body mist and fragrances, okay? Continuing on with Sol de Janeiro, okay? Charosa 59. Okay, I, I can't, this is the newest one that they released. This is the one with the violet and the praline and the, oh my God, oh my God. So they said it's supposed to bring some warmth and uplift you and it has notes of vanilla orchid, sugared violet, and sheer sandalwood. This is a masterpiece. Sol de Janeiro know what they doing with the products. They know what they doing, okay? So just go ahead. You can't get, go wrong with picking up anything from their line. Like, <laughs> I love this. I mean, we're moving into spring and summer, so this probably won't be in heavy rotation. But once we get back into fall and winter, heavy, heavy, heavy rotation. Did you think we wasn't going to mention this? Charosa 62. This is the pistachio, the salted caramel. So again, get all your layers together. Get all your layers together. Okay, let's get them together. Last one from Sol de Janeiro. This is Real Radiance. If you saw my Bath and Body Works haul and they have an inspired version of Soleil Blanc, Tom Ford. This is also in that same family of kind of being a dupe for Tom Ford, Soleil Blanc. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, <laughs> this is better. 
this is better to me. And it's just because of the performance. The performance. Tom Ford does not perform like it needs to for the cost. And this at a fraction of Tom Ford, Soleil Blanc, and you getting like four or five hours. Y'all, I ate this down last summer. Last summer, ate this down. So I had to get it in the big boy size and I cannot wait to start pulling this out. It's heavy on the tuberose and I just love tuberose. Summer in the bottom. I'm just going to mention these as a group. Pick up any of the Nest perfume oils, okay? I got the jasmine, the, the Turkish rose, the Balinese, and the Madagascar vanilla. You can't go wrong with these. And these help you with layering your fragrances, laying your skincare, your body care products, so that you can project and smell good all freaking day. And you cannot go wrong with Nest perfume oils, okay? Before we get into my fragrances and what I recommend for this time of year for fragrances, I want to mention one other body care product. This is also by way. This is in the St. Bart's as well. This is their body cleanser. Guys, I love this stuff down. Like I be having to like pull myself back from using it so much. I highly recommend this body cleanser by way guys. And again, let me go back to the body butter by way. If you can get these in a set, that's the ideal way. And I think right now on Sephora, they do sell these in a set. So pick up the set first so you can get your two for one, get it at a little discount. Boom, you in there for the summertime. So here are a few of my top recommended fragrances from Sephora. Um, these are not all of them, but this is just like a few for spring and summer that's coming up. Way, Melrose Place. Now guys, I'm just realizing that it says North Bondi on the label, but when I spray it out and on the actual packaging, it says Melrose Place. So I don't know, way y'all moving too fast, y'all need to slow it down, okay? Because this is not North Bondi, this is Melrose Place. This is what I wanted. But definitely a top recommendation for spring and summer. Guys, get you the Nest Turkish oil, put that down. And spray this down rose heaven rose heaven sharp floral fruity heaven okay i recommend this it's not gonna be a safe blind buy for everybody especially if you don't like sharp florals so go in the store and try this out this next one guys is a safe blind buy hopefully um this is by clean reserve and this is in the scent skin your skin but better right out of the shower spray this on this is also good to pair and layer with it's a conscious brand i mean and it's feasible so you literally just can't go wrong with this and if you can get it at a discounted price because i didn't get this on sale so if you can get this at a discounted price, you always know, how, like I say, if you can get it at a discounted good price, get it twice, okay? This is good right here. Like, I'm going to be using this all summer, all winter, so all year around fragrance, guys. So you literally cannot lose with this. So this is like very top recommended from me. Next two that we got for spring and summer, we got two Kali fragrances. I have the... Eden Sparkling Lychee. Guys, if you like that sparkling vibe and you also like the lychee, you get the fruity, sharp, kind of sweet, all of those things from that lychee note and you get the black currant that sits on top of it and brings it all together, go, go ahead and pick this up. Go ahead and pick this up. And you can, again, layer this with the Turkish Rose Oil by Ness. You can layer that so that this can project and perform a bit better. The next one by Kali is Jean Pistachio. What, I mean, what are we saying? Well, I don't need to say more about this. Like, pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, cotton candy. I mean, all the goods. It's all the goods in one bottle. 
And guys, this has had time to maturate and oh Lord, it's just getting yummier. <laughs> it's just getting yummier. Go ahead and just pick this up. Just pick it up. Coming in with a Nest perfume. I left y'all with some Nest perfume oils. Now I need to give y'all a Nest perfume. This is the lychee rose. Again, if you like that lychee sharpness and the sweetness of that fruit, and you also like rose and a little bit of pink champagne, this is what you want to grab. This is like young flirty. This is a little bit more sophisticated, but it's still flirty as well. So you can't go wrong with either one. This one is priced a little bit better. The performance is around the same, but I definitely will still recommend. And again, get you the Nest Turkish Rose Perfume Oil, pair them up, and get your life. This one, guys, I just kind of like discovered this in the last couple of months. I wish I would have discovered this in early fall so that I could have been enjoying her all fall, all winter. But this is YSL black opium la perfume or la perfume this one guys that vanilla is intoxicating okay this is all year round for me period this is all year round for me if you like black opium, you're definitely going to like this. But if you didn't like the original black opium, try this one. Because this one is that vanilla, baby. It is mm, it's very, very good. Okay. Now, the performance for me is moderate. So, I'm going to have to layer her up. I'm going to have to double her down. And guess what I'm going to do? Guess who I'm going to double her down with? Vanilla 28, baby. <laughs> Kayali Vanilla 28 is my last top recommendation for spring, summer. Um, guys, I really didn't want to open her up, but I'm going to just go ahead and open her up. Look, look at this juice, guys. Look at look at this look at this see she probably been sitting already she probably been sitting already because we 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 we, we pass fall and winter now we we in spring so she probably been sitting look how dark this juice is oh <laughs> stark like me baby I, I don't even need to really say much on this do i need to talk about her i'm gonna double her down with this YSL Le Parfum, put that Vanilla 28 on top. Date night, day night vibes. And I might even throw on one of these Nest oils, okay? I might put that Madagascar Vanilla down or that Balinese Coconut. I might put that down first and then spray both of these. Who will be smelling better than me? Who will be smelling better than you? if you choose to get this that is it guys for my sephora spring savings event haul and my top recommendations i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up drop down in the comments let me know what products you interested in let me know what you picked up what i missed okay because i'm gonna be watching videos to see what i missed but drop down in the comments let me know what i missed too I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah, mwah, mwah.